Okay, we're here for the second part of our abstract dish style drawing of our tree which you can see in the top corner. So you're going to need your drawing from last time. A pencil, you might need a ruler to help you with the lines. You can use colour, can be pen, pencil, crayon, paint, whatever you've got available to you. If you don't have cover then you can apply layers of tone similar to what we've done in the cubism project. Okay. So we're going to add some more lines to this. Um, some intersecting lines so our work has more of a feel of modern the artists that we've looked at in the last period. So I'm just going to find some sections that I can put some lines through. Just picking them at random. And in places where we could make some of the squared shapes that we see and our drains work. Over here we have lots of intersecting lines already. Let's go add more. Maybe onto these branches up here that are looking a little bit bare. Okay. okay. Once we've got those sections, we can take our cover and start to apply it. So I'm using pen, marker pens, take my time with it. We're going to apply some sections of yellow. And if you remember the examples that we've looked at, the colours that tend to be used in dish still art are primary colours. So for this I'm going to be sticking to red, yellow and blue. And again I'm picking out sections, spacing the yellow out so I've not got areas of yellow that are sitting next to, the, to each other. If you're using pen or if you're using colouring pencil, any media for that matter, keeping your pen strokes, pencil strokes, brush strokes all going one direction helps give you a smooth application of colour or tone. That's my sections of yellow. Take some red. Going to apply some red over here. Following the lines that I've got. this colour within the shapes that are there, the shapes that have been made by our intersecting lines. Looking 
upper areas are closed off so that means all the lines join up See me outline the shape by following the lines with the pen first and then fill the inside. Okay, I'm going to go to blue. Start adding sections of blue. shapes of all different sizes filled with your three primary colours red, blue and yellow One final step that you might want to take, although it isn't necessary, is if you have a black fine liner or marker, you might want to go in and tidy up your lines to give you nice clean, crisp black lines that help separate your colour sections. Go over your whole drawing with black liner. Using the ruler to help follow the shape. Help clean up any sections where you've maybe went outside your lines, like I've done over here. something that's a little closer to the distill works that we've looked at. Okay, now when you go try it, good luck and I look forward to seeing your final pieces.